Hi guys, welcome back to another Hugh Jeffries video. In this video, I'm going to be repairing this iPhone 10, which is in need of a screen replacement. While it's only suffered minor damage, the screen is constantly glitching and tends to have a mind of its own. While not a difficult repair, many third-party repair shops perform this repair inadequately, but we'll get a little bit more into that later on. But before we get started, I'd like to thank iFixit for sponsoring this video. Right now, you can take $10 off orders of $50 or more with the code FIXMAS10. So upgrade someone's toolkit for the holidays or treat yourself. Just visit ifixit.com slash Jeffries or click the link below. Now I purchased this iPhone at the beginning of the year for $400. At that time, it was the second newest iPhone on the market. However, it's now a little bit older as I haven't got around to repairing it. But what I received in the package was literally just the iPhone itself with no other accessories. Taking it out of the box, I could power it on for the first time and verify everything was working. And given that the True Tone feature is still active, it is most likely that the display has never been replaced on this phone. Once the phone was set up, I did notice it was on a beta version of iOS 12.3 and was constantly coming up with the message to update uh, the beta version. So to remove that, I just restored a stock version of iOS 12.3 onto the device, which was the latest version at the time. Now to fix this phone properly, I'm going to need a couple of items. Obviously I'm going to need a replacement display, as well as the correct adhesive, and also a reprogramming unit to reprogram the serial numbers in the display. I'll talk a little bit about why that's necessary later on, but the first thing I'm going to do is power down the iPhone and carefully remove the two pentalobe screws from the bottom. It's important to go slow and be gentle with these as they're very small and easy to strip. I can then use an eye opener tool to heat the bottom of the display and using a suction cup being able to lift it up and then insert a pick underneath and gradually move around the edge of the display. As the display is adhered to the frame, it takes a little bit of prying to get it up, but once it is removed, we can then take out the few screws holding in this bracket, which will reveal a whole number of flex cables. The first thing you'll need to do is disconnect the battery to make sure that you don't fry anything internally while working on the phone. I can then disconnect the screen cables as well as the front earpiece. Removing the display from the iPhone, we can bring it across to my programmer. Now you can pick various numbers of programmers online, so do your research to find the best one for your needs. Now what I'm going to do is read the old screen data and then make sure that it's saved to the device. I can then disconnect the old broken display and connect up our new iFixit panel and reprogram that display. Now in my case, I'm going to be reprogramming it on the JC Pro 1000S. However, this company also makes a few other ones that are slightly less expensive. Either way, I can then burn the data onto the new screen, which basically transfers all of the serial numbers and data from the old display over to the new one. The reason for this is to retain the true tone function on the display. As everything in the iPhone is basically paired to each other, failure to reprogram certain components can cause limitations on the phone itself. Now once we've reprogrammed the display, I can remove a couple of screws and take the earpiece assembly off of the old display and transfer it across to that new iFixit panel. This is actually a lot easier to do than previous generations of iPhone, as well as the fact that it doesn't have a home button, so there's even less things needed to transfer across. However, when reassembling, make sure to connect the gold grounding clip and align it correctly. Now that our display is prepped and ready to go, I'm going to test fit everything and make sure the phone is functioning. Now, whilst I've reprogrammed it, I need to check that the True Tone function is working. If it is missing from settings, that means the reprogramming part was unsuccessful. As mine is functioning perfectly, I can then remove the display and continue with the repair. I'm going to need to remove all of the old adhesive that was holding down the display, and I can do that by twirling around my spudger and removing all of the old adhesive. Being very careful of the Face ID sensor, as that's also another paired component. However, only Apple is able to reprogram it, so if damaged, you will lose Face ID capabilities. I can then come along with some alcohol and give it a good proper clean. Now that the two halves are prepped, it's time to seal them together, and that can be done with the new water resistant seal, which will need to be applied between the two halves. Many third-party repair shops miss this step along with reprogramming the display, resulting in a very poor repair. Once we've flattened down the seal with a spudger, 
I gave the camera a bit of a clean as it appeared to have a fingerprint on it which could have been from the factory or even a previous repair. I can then attach the new iFixit display panel back onto the iPhone making sure to firmly attach all of the flex cables and then finally connect up the battery. Reinstalling the one bracket and its few screws, I can then finally give the inside of the phone one last clean and then remove the protective film over the adhesive strips so they're ready to be sealed down. Once all the adhesive strips have been removed, we can start to reinstall the new panel onto the phone. Starting with the top and being very careful on the right hand side where the cables are, we can then press down the display firmly into place and reinstall the two pentalobe screws into the bottom of the iPhone. We can then remove the protective film and we're done. So this is it. My iPhone 10 is now back into working condition and is no longer glitching out all the time. While not a difficult repair to complete, you do need to have the right equipment, like a ProTec toolkit which has the pentalobe and tri-wing pieces that these iPhones contain, as well as a reprogrammer to be able to properly reprogram the display and do the repair job properly. Jumping into settings, this is a 64GB iPhone X running iOS 12.3, and as you can see the True Tone function is still functioning just fine after the screen replacement. However, if you don't reprogram the display, this function will entirely disappear from the phone. With the display replaced, this phone is in very good condition. However, it does have some light scratches on the back from the previous owner. And on that note, this has been a Hugh Jeffries video. If you like what you saw, hit that subscribe button and consider checking out the phone restoration playlist for more videos just like this one. Also, make sure to follow me on my social media, link for which is down in the description. That's all for this video, and I'll catch you guys next time.